I'm Bias Trades here and today we're going to be going over the Market Cycle Bot. This isn't currently released and this is currently still in beta, but I wanted to show you my progress um, as it has been taking up a lot of my time. Also, I have been working with uh, Justin Flynn or also known as Laser Wolf on a lot of his kind of projects. So if you're interested in his room, I'll leave a link um, to his room because I think it's it provides amazing value um, and also you will see some of me around there and you'll see some of my creations such as like the fundamental bot and um some others so you can look into that um if you are interested but also he just provides amazing commentary uh, as well but let's just get into this so current beta version um this is all i have to show you at the moment but i will discuss kind of each point um so model one uh, actually, let's take a step back. Um, this will try and show you multiple models as I don't think there's a perfect model for um, viewing market cycles. I think also a lot of it is discretionary. It's quite hard to do just to quantify it, at least for me anyway. Um, so for model one, I wanted to see how many 300% runners there are. This is mainly kind of the trade the matrix um, idea. So how many 300% runners there are, it will go green if there's more than two uh, in the month. So that's like kind of, you know, looking like a hot uh, cycle. If the average volume is above last month's, that will also go green. Um, and then if there's multi-day runners, ideally more multi-day runners than the previous month. So we could see here that there's only one compared to four last month. That isn't completely accurate because I still have some code to complete on that, but that's just an example. Um, so this is more trade the matrix um, ideas. And, you know, you can get a decent idea that if there's two 300% runners on the month and there's more multi-day runners and there's higher volume, you know, maybe we are probably in a hot cycle is maybe not as many fades. Um, and this also tries to kind of capture if there's an ignition in the market because a 300% run is quite a big run. So that normally could ignite other parts of small caps. Um, model two is gap is above 20%. So if there's more than five gappers above 20% on the uh, pre-market morning, then that could signify a hot market as there uh, shows there's a lot of gappers. Um, if there has been more than, I think it's like, uh, five 50 percent moves in the uh, in the day or at least more than the previous month um, so this will just show you if there has been green days on small caps that have moved more than 50 percent in the intraday um, so from open to close um, and then just based off last month and if those are happening more then you know we could be in a hot cycle um, and then just same average volume same as model one but i think i thought i'd include it into model two as well um, there will be a model free, but I'm currently more working on that and I didn't have as much to show on that. Um, but yeah, that's the current beta version. So future ideas is we, I got this from one of the people in my stock bot room. Um, and he said to determine if the stock has been closing strong, e.g. above 80% of its gap range. I think this is a fantastic idea. Um, not the easiest one to do for me at the moment, but I will definitely um, give it an attempt. Maybe include it into model free or have it as its own separate one. Um, and then I also wanted one to include the average fade percentage recently compared to the average upside move, um, just so we can see if there's been more bigger fades recently or if there has been, you know, stronger upside moves. And this can kind of, you can use the discretion to, to gauge it. I think it's pretty much like how I want it. I, I want it to be where you could see how fast the market is moving um, to some extent, you know, is, is there more volume? Is there more runners? Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's in a hot market. Um, it just could mean we're having a hot day or maybe it's it's only a couple of days, um, but still just to kind of give you caution and you can determine your size or maybe you want to, you know, go long more on these days. Um, just kind of, you know, play into your own setups um, so you can use this. Um, if you have any ideas, please leave them below. I'm, I'm pretty much open to all ideas to try and quantify them um, and add them. So if you're interested in any, just leave them below and I'll, I'll look into them if, if, I, if I can do them. Um, but hopefully that was interesting. If you are wanting to keep updated on this, just follow me on Twitter and I'll be posting about it. Um, and also if it comes out to the public. So thank you very much.